Hey guys. So I want to talk to you about the Young Living Savvy Minerals Eyeliner. Prior to Savvy Minerals, I wasn't an eyeliner person at all. I really wasn't even that much of a makeup person. I wore makeup most of the time, but it was very light. I was already using powder makeup, so that was a super easy transition for me. And I never really wore eyeliner because I felt like it didn't really match that more natural, light makeup look that I was normally using. And anytime I would try to try eyeliner, I would try the liquid, I would try the pencil, I would try whatever. And it just seemed like it was way too dramatic and it just didn't go. It didn't match my face, if that's a thing. And, but again, I'm always up for trying new things because I felt like I wanted to like it. I just didn't like it on me. And so when the Savvy Minerals came out and they had the Jet Setter, which is the black powder, and they were kind of marketing that as eyeliner, of course, again, I wanted to try it. They also have the Multitasker, which is the dark brown version that many people also use as eyeliner. And so I decided to give it a try and I absolutely fell in love with it. I wear eyeliner almost every single time I wear makeup now and it's so easy in my opinion it is like the easiest eyeliner i've ever applied and so i see other people struggle and talk about like they don't like it or they don't know how to apply it and i don't really understand why so i thought maybe a video would be helpful to tell you what i do and maybe that would help other people because like i said to me i'm like super lazy so it's the easiest thing ever or i wouldn't be doing it all the time um i also want to mention to feel free to get outside the box and use whatever you want as eyeliner. That's the beautiful thing of this makeup too, is it's so flexible, you can do whatever you want with it. So I actually have a couple here that I use as eyeliner. The Jet Setter I use, which is the black one, but I also love using the Freedom, which is the sparkly green eyeshadow. And I kind of have blue-green eyes anyway, and like if I wear green clothes, you know, it kind of looks even more green. And I'll just do like a little eyeliner line of this as liquid. I always use it as liquid. And I really like it. It's really, really pretty like that, sparkly. And then the other one I use often as an eyeliner is Midnight. And this is one of the uh, Holiday Collection eyeshadows. I don't know if you can really tell there. It's like a sparkly, dark. I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but it's sparkly and it's really pretty. And also don't be freaked out. I know some of you probably just freaked out when I showed you that because you saw all the powder is in the lid. That's another thing that people talk about all the time that I don't get as a non makeup person. Like, I don't know why that's a problem. I don't spill it. It's all good. It just stays in my lid and I get out what I need. So that's never been an issue for me. Um, but I'm sure it freaks some people out. So don't freak out. Okay. So here's the main thing. I think, well, a couple main things. You need this Young Living Eyeliner Pencil. Like, it's the bomb diggity. So it has two different ends. This one is like the eyeliner end. And then this other one is a more like a firm angled end, which I believe is for like eyebrows. So if you fill in your eyebrows, it's a nice like structured, firm um, brush that can help you do that. I don't do my eyebrows because I got plenty and they're dark. So then I do the misting spray. That's what makes it a liquid. You can do the eyeliner as a powder. I prefer to do it as a liquid. I, that really just works for me. So I use the misting spray. You can also use water, which is what I was doing for a while. You can just literally run this brush under your sink and get it sopping wet and use the water. And the eyeliner will go on beautifully just like that. However, I saw someone else mention, and I think it's been true for me once I really paid attention to that, is if you use the water, it is more likely to kind of run or when you blink, you end up with eyeliner like up here because it's just not seeping in, I guess, if you will, as much. The water is just kind of washing it off. So with the misting spray, because it has the aloe in it, it's just more set. So that's what I like to use. So I take an old five milliliter essential oil bottle. P.S. Never throw your bottles away because they have so many wonderful purposes. And I put just a few sprays of the misting spray in there. Don't be freaked out like by hygiene. I'm the only one that uses this. I just use a few sprays so that I can clean it out. Do what you want. If you don't like that, that's fine. You can use a little separate tool or bowl or whatever you want to do. That's what I do. So I get it really, really, really wet. Sorry, I already have eyeliner on because of course I didn't think about doing this video until I was putting my eyeliner on, but we're gonna go with it. So get it nice and wet 
And then I just have a bunch of my lid because this is how I always do it. And so I just kind of run it through a little bit of it there with the misting spray on the brush, nice and wet. And then it really is just the easiest thing. It usually takes me one, maybe two lines. I just go straight across and like I said, it's already on right now, but that's how it would be anyway. And it's just, I just love it. I just love it so much. So that's it. I hope this helps somebody. Please use your eyeliner. It's the bomb diggity. Don't be scared of it. Enjoy.